Hi YouTube, this is Sandeep here and I want to quickly review today how good is DxO Optics Pro 9 Elite is with respect to the noise reduction and also some of the other thoughts I have about the presets and the export options. So without doing much delay, let's quickly look into the best part of this particular package we have that is the DxO Optics Pro 9 Elite. The reason why I'm stressing on Elite is some of the camera modules do not work with the standard. So when you're purchasing it, do make sure that your camera module works with the relevant option you're buying. So this is a photograph of my daughter, which I took with Olympus EM10 with a 75mm f1.8 lens, and it was shot at ISO 6400 at f1.8 and uh, 1 60th of a second so if you see this there's a lot of noise in the background and when I first took the shot I was not sure whether I'll be able to really use it or not so if I zoom into the image you can see that there's a lot of noise in the background so what I did is I wanted to see if is there any way I can bring down the noise of this because I know I can go and play around with this for some time in Lightroom and I'll be able to take out decent amount of noise but what I wanted to see is without doing much delay can I take it out is there anything which I can do to make sure that the noise is removed or corrected in no time so in order to do that I tried DxO Optics 9 Pro Elite so if you see this, this is a lot there are a lot there's a lot of noise here in the background of the image and with one click that is noise reduction on you will see that almost all of the noise in the image is gone not only that the image becomes uh, clean and crisp as if it was um, shot at a lower ISO and this again we are doing a uh, pixel peeping here at 100% uh, and we have two options in this that is the high and the prime I believe and understand that the prime is a much superior noise correction and if I apply to it, it corrects in a much more sophisticated way with some kind of an architecture to correct noise built into it. So if we try that, I get a good preview of that. Uh, you, As you can see here, even to generate a preview for prime, it takes a lot of time. Uh, I am running a Mac with i7 quad core with 16 gigs of RAM. So it takes a lot of time to do it so if you have a pc which is not fast enough or a mac which is not fast enough it's going to take a lot of time for that and also i've heard from a lot of people that um, uh, the noise correction after we export takes a lot of time if you use prime however if you use high it's not that bad of an image but it does clear up quite a bit so uh, what i decided is to use prime only when the noise is too high in an image okay so this is one part of it which is good i'll also show you an image output using prime uh, this is just like i said it's just a preview it is not uh, an actual image so i understand from dxo pro optics is that the preview is just a representation and the output might be much much better than this so having said that um, oh, there's one more quick thing which is very good and essential with respect to DxO Pro Optics is uh, preset and it has uh, something called as uh, a standard presets which are available for portrait and landscapes which kind of ease out a lot of job especially if you are shooting on a daily basis uh, especially if, if the person is a wedding photographer or a landscape photographer um, he does not need to come and sit and play around with the settings to arrive at the right image. I found this uh, preset uh, particularly helpful for portraits. The high key mm, preset, it kind of um, gives importance to the face and the face and takes out a lot of importance from the rest of it. So it's kind of ideal for the portraits and things. And also if you can see here that um, when I click on the presets, it gives kind of preview of the image uh, with all the presets which helps us uh, identifying what needs to be done and which presets need to be applied so this is um, a quick look at the noise reduction and the apply preset apart from this uh, you also have a couple of good setting options here if I go to DxO Pro Optics uh, header menu and go to preferences and advanced 
you can see that I can choose whether to use the GPU acceleration or not and I also can see if I want to use a little bit of less power um, than using complete power which is used and also what is the power to be used for batch processing so these are some of the good features uh, which I haven't have not seen uh, in a lot of things and it, it makes your life a lot simpler like you saw here I did those two things in one click and I would also like to show you the image which I generated out of it this is the final image I got uh, you can see the comparison between both of them and um, if I go into detail itself this is almost one is to one and you can see that the noise is almost taken out whereas here I can still see in the preview but here in the actual image it's almost taken out and it's a JPEG uh, mind you and if I had taken a, a DNG or a, say let's say a TIFF image it would have been much much clearer and my experience with this is it took me for my computer three and a half minutes to generate this image and I'm sure um, if I had taken any other type of image it would have taken much larger time to process and also it brings up some cool new features uh, for this uh, uh, system or a software itself is it has export options and this practically exports to anything say if you have an application like Lightroom which is being used this can export a DNG to your Lightroom where in which you can do your uh, post processing in a normal way after doing all these corrections and take it forward. So this was a quick look at DxO Optics Pro 